So myself is Dr. Pradeep Kumar Goswami. I am a consultant gynecologist and obstetrician and a subspecialist in fetal and maternal medicine. I am the founder and director of Fetomat Foundation and the lead consultant in this team. So as the word non-invasive suggests, so no needle is necessary to go inside the mother's womb in this test, you know. Essentially, purpose is same as in the invasive testing where uh, we get the fetal cells for chromosomal study or fetal DNA for genetic study. In non-invasive test, the principle is uh, to get the same fetal cells which uh, normally flies in the mother's blood as well, you know. Now, technology-wise, it's slightly more challenging and therefore, this test is only available in recent time, last one year or so. And uh, basically, the fetal cells are isolated from the mother's blood, like it's a normal blood test, like taking a little bit of blood from the mother's arm and getting the fetal cells out of it and therefore, you know, uh, getting uh, the informations for chromosomal or DNA problems particularly the DNA problems um, from the uh, from the uh, from the from the fetal cells you know now advantage is that for the invasive test roughly there is one percent uh, risk of uh, fetal uh, loss or miscarriage may be associated with the procedure usually it does not happen but that's a possibility in the non-invasive prenatal test uh, that possibility is not there because it's a simple blood test, you know. However, uh, non-invasive test cannot be applied for all sorts of potential chromosomal and or genetic problem as of now. Lots of researches are going on and hopefully technology will improve further. And also important thing is this test is slightly more costly than the standard invasive test like amniocentesis and CVS. So therefore, this test will have and should have a special place as of now, but it has a potential to grow further.